terrible role model. I think that you're so I took just as lie, and you're just trying to pull this as a little game. And the guy who, exa who gives our examinations happens to be her. Let's bring him out there. Yeah. give all our examinations here on the show and do you have any vested interest in manipulating the outcome of these tests not at all so would you say you gave her a fair and reasonable exam and yeah, is that the fbi would give an exam and did you somehow smudge those results at all no sir i would never do that and what happened with her examination she's extremely deceptive jeez <laughs> oh, i'm if i ever seen you before a show have you seen you before? Yeah, do I ever come and talk, have chit chat with you, coffee? Never, Never seen you before uh, an examination, nope. right? If I, I'm just curious, if I came to you and said, hey, Dan, I don't like this, Mom. Will you make the outcome look, you know, let's let's throw it under the bus? Absolutely not. I'm a forensic examiner, a member of the American College of Forensic Examiners. I have a license to protect. And so you wouldn't jeopardize your whole career for me? No, sir. I earn a living and feed my kids that way. to discount her daughter's uh, lie detector results because she thinks that, you know, her daughter has memories or doesn't have memories. Do you want to explain that portion of it? Sure. When you tell the truth, you access your memory. So if I go, is your name Steve? You go, yeah. But where's that information stored, Steve? It's stored in your memory. If I go, did you rob a bank this morning? You look in there and you say, no, I didn't rob a bank. So when you give me the truth, you're accessing your memory. So I always discuss questions with an examinee to make sure that they have a clear recollection and they can answer yes or no. If they're not sure, we reformulate the question or we don't ask it. She was sure of everything that she answered. Not only was she sure when she answered it, but she passed her test. And my opinion doesn't even matter. She algorithmically, scoring algorithms, passed this test with a score of 99.5% probability that she's truthful. Thanks for coming on, Dan. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Wait, Thank you. What about I had a